July is the anniversary month for the signing of the Americans with Disabilities Act by President Bush in 1990. Yeah, John Martin is now live and local this morning at the Rocky Mountain ADA Center to celebrate this milestone. John. Hey, good morning, Craig. Good morning, Kimberly. That's exactly what we're doing. 25 years, 25 years, they've been making a difference, trying to improve and educate everyone here and, and, and some of the, the different things that we might not know about. And that's what we're trying to do today is convey that. We're now talking about invisible disabilities uh, with Camille and Patrice Blakely. Let's, let's just get right into it. Let's, let's, the, do you un, a lot of people might understand invisible disability. What is that exactly and, and what are we talking about? Uh, well, to me, it's a uh, mental illness, something that you can't see, and it's something I live with every day. For me, it's bipolar disorder, and um, I also live with anxiety, and it's something that with bipolar disorder is a mood disorder. So I uh, deal with depression and some hypomania, and something that people don't understand is how much we really struggle internally, and every day I have to really focus on what is it like to get out of bed, and what if I'm depressed and can't go do my work or school, and people just don't really see that on the outside. And so um, it's really easy to not understand, I guess, fully how someone experiences mental illness. Yeah. It's something that I hope we can become more aware of so we can talk more about it and help people that struggle that we don't always see. And, and you've touched on it. What are some of the, the, the hurdles that you're trying to overcome? Because I don't know if when people hear this, they go, well, I, I don't know how to react to you. But I mean, it's, it's not anything different. Or, or, or what do you want people to know? Yeah, well, I would say that most people don't know that I have bipolar disorder unless I share it with them. And I think a lot of times when you hear bipolar disorder, you often will be um, filled with, I guess, stigma about it, where people mm -hmm. are afraid, people think mental illness is about violence or danger, and that's just a lot of kind of what we've been seeing on the media and through stigma, and I hope that we can kind of understand that with bipolar disorder, especially with me, you wouldn't know, and I think um, with any mental illness, I don't think it's something that just comes blaring out at you and something that people need help with, especially before I think something uh, might happen, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and Camille, as being the mother, what have you, you know, kind of had to, uh, teach people and show people. Sure, and I think one of the reasons Patrice and I, reasons Patrice and I speak out about this is, you know, there are disabilities you can see yeah. and not see, and mental illness is a disability that you can't see. But it's real nonetheless, and I think a lot of people um, are so afraid to speak up because of that stigma. And um, we think it's really, really important because this is something people are born with. It's genetic, yeah. and, um, you know, it's, it's something they shouldn't have to feel shame about. Uh, yeah. And it's not so much the disability that people have, but it's how you handle it. Yeah. And so to speak out with dignity, you know, gives people permission to talk about it. And if yeah. they can get over that fear, yeah. uh, there'll be less, uh, you know, people hiding from it. And I think the more we can talk about it, the more it's going to be out there. You know, one in four people suffer from a mental illness. Yeah. So it's a disability that's very, very prevalent in our society, and we really feel feel that like more people should feel comfortable talking about it. Yeah. Well, that's that, and that's what we're doing. And, and I appreciate both of you being here and sharing your story. Yeah, it's, it's, guys, that's what we're doing all morning. We're we're trying to educate. I'm trying to learn as much as I can, and hopefully we're conveying that to to you guys back in the studio and those watching at home. And again, it's 25 years celebrating this month. Uh, it's a big accomplishment, and and we have a lot of work. To, to, to a lot of uh, a lot of uh, um, steps to take, but we're getting there uh, little by little. But anyway, guys, we'll go ahead and toss it back to you for now.